The third step in structured graph analysis is to analyze graph data, specifically to test the hypothesis. Recall that we have already defined three key issues to guide our graph analysis. One, is the market big enough? Two, is the market growing? And three, does the market have further room to grow? So let's now bring up our graph. To analyze the first key issue, is the market big enough? We can see that the size of the market in the latest year three is $45 million. So we'll say that $45 million in market size looks good. Additionally, we will put this number in perspective by asking, how does it compare to the client's existing market? Let's suppose that the new market turns out to be twice as big as the existing market. This tells us that the new market is indeed big enough to appeal to the client, which positively answers our first key issue. Let's now analyze the second key issue. Is the market growing? We can see that the market has grown from 35 to $45 million over the past two years. Additionally, we can quantify that over the last year, the market grew by 13%, and the year before, by 14%. So we'll say that double-digit market growth is very robust. And again, we can put this growth in perspective by asking, how does it compare to the client's own revenue growth? Let's suppose that this market's growth is substantially above the client's own growth. This tells us that the market is not only growing, but is also doing so at a faster rate than the client's own revenue, which positively answers our second key issue. Let's now analyze the final key issue. Does the market have further room to grow? Unfortunately, the graph does not provide a future market growth projection. So we can either inquire if the current growth trajectory is forecast to continue, or ask what is the current market penetration? Let's suppose that it turns out to be only 5% versus a much higher 50% in other geographies. Such a low level of penetration signals substantial further growth potential which positively answers our final key issue. So by being hypothesis-driven and concentrating on the key issues, we've performed our graph analysis in a focused and efficient manner, analyzing only what is necessary to test the hypothesis, nothing more and nothing less.